Doc, aside from the RT-PCR test, is there any hard and fast uh, measure by which we can differentiate between Omicron and the common cold? Because, uh, because I know that there are many who are also, uh, well, who've caught the cold, no? And they've had themselves tested and they, they turned out to be negative. Yeah. And uh, pediatricians are also saying that this is also part of the seasonal viral uh, transmissions around this time of the year. So, uh, but, but, you know, but as an ordinary, uh, you know, layman, is there a way to differentiate, to it distinguish whether... You know, to tell whether yours is just a common cold or flu, or yeah. if it's already COVID. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the symptoms are, are almost uh, very similar between the flu and uh, this COVID-19. Uh, both are uh, of, uh, of viruses. One is the influenza virus, and the other is uh, the COVID uh, coronavirus. Uh, but definitely for the symptoms, uh, what is very uh, um, uh, definite about the COVID-19 is that you have a loss of taste and smell. And uh, you don't see this often in, in flu-like symptoms. And in, in the manner of tests, I think uh, testing for the antigen, especially for COVID, would be a definitive way of uh, telling if you have symptoms, whether you have COVID or this is just the ordinary flu. Doc, balikan ko lang, Doc, yung, ano, yung tanong kanina uh, with regard to the antigen test. Kasi in the end, kasi yung antigen tests are, are uh, more accessible to most people because it's a lot cheaper than the, than the PCR tests. Eh. Uh, how does it work? If you don't have any symptoms uh, and you go negative with the antigen test, is that, uh, is, is that something that assures you or is it something that you need to confirm pa further on? I, 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 I think uh, for the antigen test, uh, these are usually being recommended by the department, especially for those... Uh, patients uh, with symptoms, all right? With symptoms. So, uh, mm -hmm. with symptoms. Yes. And definitely, you can make use of the antigen test because if it's a positive, you're really positive if you have symptoms. Mm -hmm. Second, if you're a close contact and you've been exposed to uh, to a COVID person, you can use uh, actually an antigen test, all right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but definitely, if you have, uh, you just wanted to test yourself and you're negative, then you have to prove it by the RT-PCR because uh, it's uh, the, um, the, uh, the uh, sensitivity for that, especially for uh, if you have no symptoms and you just use it for screening purposes, is very low. Mm -hmm. So you have to, uh, you really have to confirm this with an artist. Yes, sir. So, but I asked that, po, kasi, like I said, nga kanina, there, there are so many antigen tests being sold online and they're a lot cheaper. They're, they're what, one fifth of the price uh, being offered by antigen testing, uh, mm -hmm. being offered by, by clinics. So, uh, oh, mga 150 to 200 pesos per test. Eh. Uh, so, so some people might end up uh, um, choosing to take that kind of uh, uh, test kit. I don't know if that's uh, that's recommended or if there's any danger there. Uh, uh, you just you just get the test kits which are uh, approved by FDA, which has a very high 90% uh, specificity and uh, sensitivity. I think uh, uh, that would be more accurate uh, rather than those tests which have not been. Uh, validated uh, and uh, by uh, RITA. Mm -hmm. Okay, but some FDA. Okay. Ano kung fake yung FDA yan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of hard. Lahat na, fake dito. You can verify You can verify with RITA, ma'am, because they validate RITA? actually all of the antigen. Ah, okay. Oh, sige. <laughs> Pero how can you differentiate na between ordinary cold and Fever and uh, uh, coronavirus. Now, the, the best way, Mam Ma Ma is uh, uh, we we need we need to have a test uh, uh, because 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 right now uh, uh, it's flu season. Eh? Uh, it's uh, you know the, the temperature is uh, kind of cold uh, across the country, and um, we've had uh, a lot of uh, people coming in with flu-like symptoms, and it's really hard to tell. Whether uh, you're dealing with COVID or you're dealing with just an ordinary mm -hmm. influenza, so the best way really is uh, just just get an antigen test uh, for for COVID, because or just assume that you're uh, no, no. Oh, assume, assume that, that you're positive yeah, assume and that then you're self isolate yeah, and self isolate yeah. and and just have some medications and uh, don't don't get in contact with uh, other people around.